proof, I can send it to you. Okay, uh, it, uh, this is just an exercise to uh, play with the matrix, which is useful for those who want to continue to go to more advanced topic, right? So what is a broad sphere, right? Why do we need broad sphere? Why do we need a broad sphere? So qubit, we already know that it is a C2 space, right? It means it's two-dimensional with described by two bases with two complex numbers, okay? Alpha is actually equal to alpha magnitude times e to the power i delta alpha, right? Beta is equal to the magnitude of beta times e to the power i delta beta. Right, just a complex plane. This is alpha, and this is delta alpha, right? On the complex plane. So how many degrees of freedom do we have? In order to specify this vector, I need four real numbers. Correct? I need alpha magnitude, delta alpha, beta magnitude, delta beta, right? But however, the good thing about quantum computing is this, they need to be normalized. Not alpha. Uh, psi, inner product with psi equal to one. This gives us one equation, right? So the degrees of freedom reduced to Three real numbers. Because this is a constraint, this four number needs to have this relationship. I only need three real numbers, right? So with that, let me rewrite it psi equals to uh, alpha e to the i delta alpha zero plus beta magnitude e to the power i delta beta 1 with alpha square plus beta square equal to 1. This is what it means here, right? Correct? And I need three real numbers. I can have my freedom. I decided, let me just choose this as cosine theta divided by 2, e to the power i delta alpha 0 plus sine theta divided by two, e to the power i delta beta one. Because I know cosine theta divided by two square plus sine square theta divided by two equal to one. It's just I need to represent in one parameter. I use something called theta. I have the freedom to do that. I can even further factorize Okay, I don't like delta alpha, delta beta. They don't have any relationship. I decided to factorize a global phrase out, I gamma, so that this becomes cosine theta divided by two, and this is e to the power negative i, and other parameter called phi divided by two, plus sine theta divided by two, e to the power i phi divided by two, one. So what I'm doing is that I find the common part of them. So gamma uh, plus theta phi divided by minus phi divided by two is actually equal to delta alpha, right? So this one, this one, and this one together will give me this one. So why do I do this? Because this will make it symmetric. And then I claim that e to the power i gamma is not important because in all the expectation value, right, global phase, right, e to the i gamma is the so-called global phase. It's not important because the expectation value of anything is equals to, does not depends on the global phase.
Okay. Now, why is that? Maybe last time, so I will talk about that next time. But that is very simple because if you add a global phase e to the i gamma to the cat, you need to add e to the power negative i gamma to the bra. They got cancelled, become one, right? So global phase is, is not important for one qubit. Then we only have two parameters now, theta and phi. And what we are going to do is to embed in the uh, broad sphere. So we'll continue on Wednesday, okay?